Toshiba, veterans of making well-built laptops like this, 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 not this, this, and today's video, this. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're reviewing the Toshiba Satellite P25, specifically the P25S509. I got my hands on this laptop for free from a friend. This was part of Toshiba Satellite P series, which were the most powerful of the satellite lineup. This laptop was one of the most powerful laptops in 2004, but was slightly cheaper than the competition. This laptop sold alright, though these are highly sought after and are little listed on eBay. Sadly, there is little information on this laptop, as the first search result on Google Images is an old notebook check review on the laptop posted in 2005. One cool feature of this laptop is that you can remove the battery to insert two DVD drives of the same type. It has little cosmetic damage, although there is a massive crack on the lid. The high definition speakers offer pleasant stereo sound, and here are some sound samples. This is my only other laptop that has a front-facing optical drive. Now let's get into the specs. This laptop comes standard with an Intel Pentium 4 HT processor with a clock speed of 2.8 GHz. This laptop comes standard with 512MB of DDRSD RAM. This motherboard supports up to 4GB. This laptop comes standard with a removable Super Combo DVD plus RW DVD RAM drive. This laptop comes with a 1440x900WXGA 17 inch display. This laptop comes standard with an NVIDIA GeForce FX Go 5200 GPU. The bloatware pre installed on this computer includes Adobe Acrobat Reader, Toshiba Console, Toshiba Access, Notebook Maximizer, AOL Instant Messenger, InterVideo WinDVD, Motion DV Studio, Simnatech Norton Antivirus 2002. Sonic My DVD and Toshiba Custom Utilities. I chose to only install the Toshiba applications for the sake of performance. Now let's get to the ports. On the back, we have an Ethernet port, parallel port, two USB 2.0 ports, and a VGA out port. On the left, we have a wireless on off switch, headphone jack, microphone jack, subwoofer jack, and a volume slider. On the front, we have DVD slash CD controls and a Super Combo DVD RAM drive. On the right, we have an IEEE 1394 digital port, two USB 2.0 ports, a phone port, two PCMCA ports, and an S video out port. All right, so here it is. Uh, I got this laptop from a friend of mine. It was uh, their family's old, well, uh, living room PC that they would use to put photos on and family stuff and for the sake of their privacy I gave them their hard drive to keep and I got a new one and since they also gave me the restore CD and all I just uh, reinstalled all the drivers and I had everything I needed so here's the satellite P25 made by Toshiba one of the greatest computer companies ever even though they don't make computers anymore so I'm gonna open it up so as you can see, it opens right up. And yeah, it's pretty big. For a 17 inch laptop, it has some extra width, mainly for a, I don't know, style. But yeah, there's not much I have to say about this. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It gives you everything you need. It doesn't have like stupid stuff over here that they could have put. Now it just has all the support stuff. And down here is all the media controls, the DVD drive and the battery. Uh, under the mouse button, there's no scrolling thing because you just do like this on the corners and it, and it scrolls. Now, unfortunately, I can't get the uh, internet to work because uh, even though it has the correct driver and all, it can't connect to a network. And 
that's a problem with Service Pack 2, but with Service Pack 3, you're usually, you're usually able to get to the internet, but I can't on this. The card itself is too old or just, it's a certain uh, type of format that is unsupported by uh, m my router or something. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to turn it on. That was quick. All right, so it runs really smooth. Uh, wireless networks detected, of course. Uh, actually, on most uh, Windows PCs, the uh, start button is down here. I mean, the Windows button. But on older Toshiba machines, they were always up here for some reason. So it's a little counterintuitive. But yeah, it's uh, the way it is. Uh, we got some bloatware apps here, like Toshiba Access. This is really a folder with a custom icon that just takes you to certain shortcuts, like internet shortcuts or an actual application. So, you know, the bloatware stuff. And I'm surprised this bloatware is actually not too hardware accelerant. And it's pretty smooth. And the computer still runs stable. Uh, Toshiba Console, however, I think is the actual support thing. No, it just, uh, well, kind of is. So, user's guide is the PDF file, which is basically just the owner's manual. It just takes you on a tour of the laptop, how to take it apart, and do certain functions with the laptop that the common person isn't aware. Uh, I could upload this uh, PDF file onto uh, Mediafire or something, but right now I'm not planning on doing so. Oh, well, that's kind of hard to uh, scroll here. Uh, this looks pretty cool. So here's the right side. The back. Finding your way around. Well, how about when it's open? I, I want to see. Uh... I mean, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's all right. This is a, it's pretty straightforward and it shows you everything you need to know. I'm not going to go through, I'm just going to spare you the details. Yep, it's, there it is. Uh, the internet doesn't work, uh, that's an offline page. Before we play some games, let's go to Network Notebook Maximizer which is also known as Toshiba Catalog. Yep. Uh, you can't full screen this. I don't know why the Toshiba logo was tilted, but I'm going to, I'm going to ignore that. Software gallery about Toshiba Online, use for type, update now, update options. This is VLC Media Player. You can watch movies and stuff. Um, here's something I put on. This is an old disc that I found. They're all the family uh, CD binder uh, with a bunch of pirated music and stuff. But I found this. You could actually make your own MIDI music. Resource Hacker lets you uh, go into uh, certain uh, resources and edit some stuff, bitmaps and whatnot. The Genesis emulator, I'm pretty sure... You all know what it is. It's uh, just a Genesis emulator. You can play Genesis, Sega CD, and 32X games. Yeah. Sonic Robo Blast 2 is what we're going to be doing right now. So, I'll move the camera and uh, let's begin. Alright, here we go. Ignore that. Here's a volume slider on this side. Let's you, uh. Here we go. Oh, 
Almost did a speed run right there. Oh shoot, what the hell. Yeah, this goes at a rough uh, 40 frames per second, sometimes 50 frames per second. But it's usually a stable frame rate. I mean, there's little to no slowdowns at all when doing stuff. Now on most 17 inch laptops, they put a, a number pad since there's extra space, but on this laptop, it doesn't have a number pad. So um, while it is pretty useful and convenient, I personally like this minimalistic approach of not having a number pad because it kind of frees up some space and stuff and it kind of looks cooler and more uh, clean that way. So that's another cool thing about this laptop that I like. And this is a 60 frames per second video, and if you see lag in the video, uh, that's not... Look, this is my hand. See how it's going smooth? Well, that's uh, not the same. That's actually completely different. Because it's a different frame rate. That didn't go as I expected. Damn it, I missed him. Almost had him. That didn't work. Plain and simple. There we go. Another thing I noticed is that for a laptop from this time, it actually has a really good um, color. It has great color. It, the colors are bright, and you can really see. Oh, there's a there's lag, huh? I never see lag on this thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, the colors are very vivid. Um. This utilizes um, as much colors as the GPU can support. Uh, this uh, is an early NVIDIA GeForce FXM process, I mean, uh, GPU. Uh, of course, it's not uh, powerful today, but for back in the day, this is one of the best uh, GPUs you could get for a laptop. Not for desktop, of course, but it was definitely usable. That's enough of Sonic Robo Blast 2. Okay, so uh, let's do uh, our last game that we're going to try out. Okay then. It has lag, but it is a uh, not really lag, it's just more frame skipping. Yeah, this is just frame skipping. It's not, it's not really lag. Because in reality, lag refers to online games, and lag is usually when, when the connection is lower than usual. Or when your computer's hardware frame skips along with poor... Well, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, it's not a, too bad. This laptop would have been great for LAN parties and whatnot. Gamer stuff from back in the day. It was from a good computer brand, and oh my gosh, this, I just noticed this laptop feels really good on my palms. This really feels really good to type on, and to play games. This is, 
this has a great keyboard and it actually feels amazing. I mean, really good. Oh shit, what are the trees doing? Well, those trees aren't having a good time, that's for sure. There's no input lag. There's absolutely no input lag. Yep, not on the keys and not on the mouse. I mean the trackpad. There is no input lag. There we go. Now here's a fun fact on 17 inch laptops. Uh, 17 inch laptops with a glossy display tend to have bad ribbon cables which result in lines on the screen. But laptops with a, a matte display like this one, they usually have no issues at all and never will. So this is a good example of a 17 inch laptop and actually it has separate cooling systems for both the CPU and the GPU. Now on a lot of 17 inch laptops from back in the day they would position the fan away from the CPU and the GPU causing well overheating and eventually motherboard failures but on ones like this the fans are right above and it cools down really well. The fans are pretty loud as you can hear. And it gets the job done. This computer is not hot anywhere I touch. Nowhere I'm touching it is it's hot. It's not. It's not hot. But anyway, that's all I'm going to show you throughout the test. So overall, this is a great laptop for vintage gaming. So if you ever find yourself one of these, get it instantly. So yeah, I recommend it heavily.